So, welcome to Voices for Fun with Mona Marshall. My hands have a life of their own. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to share with you where some of my ideas for voices come from. I grew up at a time when they were doing a lot of old movies from the 30s and 40s on television. And my mom was a big buff of old movies. So I watched a lot of them and there was a fabulous character actress named, character actress named Marjorie Maine. And she kind of talked like this. Well, my goodness gracious. She did a lot of great shows. She also did a series um, called Ma and Pa Kettle. So when I studied with Dawes Butler, he loved that we would do that and suggested that we look at old movies to get an idea of the beginning of a character, not necessarily to imitate the character. So I, use, I have used Marjorie Maine's idea, the idea of her voice, a lot in my uh, voiceover history. And just the other day, I had an opportunity to call on her again. And what this was, was um, they, the first time I did this little character, um, uh, they wanted her very, very simple and kind of young and sweet like this. Then they decided they wanted her older and sort of like, um, Maggie Smith's character in, um, in uh, Harry Potter, uh, but not as strict, uh, Professor McGonagall. So I came up with this voice based on, well, come on out here. That was a little too flamboyant, so I came up with this. Well, it's so nice to see you children. How are you doing? Oh, that's so fabulous. Now you be careful. So what I did basically is I lightened the voice, okay? There's still that guttural aspect. That's with the texture kind like this because it does add age. But as an older woman, you can do either something down here like this or you can do it something like this where you're using that higher range. So, and then that little bit of texture makes it a little less sweet. This is sweet. This is a little bit more in control, a little bit more, well, strict. Isn't that what I said? Oh, but you can still be so kind and sweet. That's when we remember to use the smile and push the tone forward. So that is one of the places I got an idea, made a change, and it worked. So start noodling with your voice. Think of it as paints. There are all kinds of paints, and all you have to do is choose and mix and match and come up with characters of your own. Bye for now.